Hello everyone and welcome back to Digitally Speaking. Today we're going to be talking about some of the extras that come with the iPlanner. Now one of the things that I asked in the iPlanner Facebook group last week was what they were using some of the extras for or if they even knew that they were there. And I got some really great responses and today I want to show you some of the ways that I am using Goal Planner template that comes with the iPlanner. So what you're looking at right now on my iPad is 2017 iPlanner and this page is the goals page and let me just tell you how you can get to this page if you tap your four squares up here your index here you see a list of some of the things that are in the beginning of your planner so you've got your cover you've got your year at a glance and your goals and your perpetual and your 365, the lined paper, the graph, and the blank. So just in case you didn't know about all of these extras, here is a list of them. And like I said, when you tap your index, you get this view, but you have to make sure that the PDF outlines are highlighted. These are, this is an index that's been coded into your planner so that you can navigate the planner. As I've pointed out before, you could twirl down your months, and then you've got your weeks or your days, depending on what layout you purchased. And here I'll twirl down February and March. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you see that you've got tab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is the tabs that run across the top of the right side of your planner. Okay, so let me show you what I've done with my goals section. Now, the way it comes is you've got your 2017 and your 2018 at a glance, and here you see the months listed, and then you've also got some lined spaces underneath. So, like I said, let me show you what I've done with mine. Nothing digital is written in stone. You can customize as far as your imagination can take you. So, what I've done here is rather than use the months, I'm using categories or topics for my goals. And I've used iDesign masks to create these labels here at the top. And I'm gonna show you how to do that here in a minute. So once I've created the labels, I can actually take my lasso and cover up the month with the label that I've created. And here I have one that I've created using the glitter paper that's available on the site. Here's another one of the glitter. And then this whimsical flower here, you can get as part of the whimsy kit in the iStore. And I will link below anything that I talk about here that's, that's in the store so that you can go back and look at it. And then these were created with something new that's in the store that is the watercolor backgrounds. And they come in a rainbow of colors. There's a pink, and then here we have a blue, a gray, and then this one was created with the foil backgrounds that's also available in the iStore. And like I said, I'll link all these below so you can check those out. All right, so let me show you how I created these. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put Good Notes on hold and I'm going to go over to Keynote and I'm going to open up my workspace. This is a presentation that I've created where I do all my work and that way I can be free to copy and paste and, and I'm not disturbing any other organized presentations that I have set up in my Keynote. And my workspace is where I test filling my shapes and how they look and create my color palettes and I copy and paste from iDesign into here so I'm not disturbing my iDesign. 
So let me go get the shapes that I'm going to use from my iDesign. I keep my iDesign in a folder along with the other kits and, or sticker kits that come with iDesign templates. So you can actually add to your iDesign most of the stickers and templates that you purchase on the iStore. Okay, so my iDesign actually opened to the shape, the page with the shape that I want to use, but I also want to use a rectangle. So I'm going to go to my basic shapes and I'm going to copy the square and I can turn the, easily turn the square into a rectangle. So I've copied that and then I'm going to go back to this ribbon shape and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to copy my ribbon and I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to tap both of them and this time I'm going to cut. That way my iDesign stays exactly like it was when I first installed it, undisturbed. And now I'm going to go back to my workspace and I'm going to go ahead and create a new page to work on my banner. First thing I'm going to do is tap the element that's going to be on top of the background and I'm going to make it the width of my page. I like to do everything in Keynote nice and big because then it goes over to GoodNotes, a higher quality image. And of course I can make it smaller over in GoodNotes. But if I made it really small here in Keynote, then it would be very blurry and pixelated and not a high quality finished image. All right, so I also want to make this the width of my page as well. And of course, since I need a rectangle, I'm going to double tap and I'm going to move the top parts of the square down. And I'm going to make this a little smaller too. And center it. And notice my guides. You see the yellow guides? That's telling me where the center is up and down and back and forth. And I think I need to make this back a little smaller too, or the background. And now I'll center it up again. So this is basically what my banner is going to look like. And now what I want to do is take this front ribbon and fill it with a white background. And I already have a white background in my camera roll. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap the paintbrush, tap image, and replace. And on my camera roll, I am going to go to my Whimsy collection. And I have two white backgrounds there. And now this is where the fun begins. I'm going to tap my, my rectangle and I'm going to tap image or the paintbrush and image and replace. And that's also going to take me to the camera roll. But I don't have my watercolor collection in my camera roll yet. So I need to go to my Dropbox to get it. So I'm going to go Insert From, Locations, and I'm going to tap my Dropbox. And I'm going to scroll down to navigate to the folder in my Dropbox where I have this collection. Now you will not find yours in the same place, obviously, as I'm finding mine because your file structure will be totally different than mine. So here are all my watercolor selections. Here you can see the yellow, the red, the purple, the pink, orange, green, and so on. I'm going to go ahead and select purple and it just filled my background with purple. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the background and while I'm holding the background I'm going to tap my ribbon as well and I'm going to copy it. 
When you do it like this, then it goes over to good notes as all one piece. So you don't have to do it in pieces that can get separated from one another or can get moved around separately. Double tap my home button, come over here to good notes, and I'm going to tap and hold and paste. And you see how that pasted it without the background. It's a PNG file and it pasted it very big, of course. But if I were to zoom in, there's literally no blur or pixelation. It's a nice, crisp vector image. And that's a big thing to me. I'm very, very picky about that. I'm just going to size this down to the same size as the one above it. And I'm going to place it over the next monthly banner. So let's do another one. And this time we're going to do it with a flower in the corner. So now that I already have my banner set up, I'll just tap the background because nothing else is going to change in it but the background. I'm going to tap the paintbrush, replace. And this time I think I'm going to use the leather collection. I'm going to insert from, and I'm going to my Dropbox because this is another collection that isn't in on my camera roll yet. Normally I put everything in my camera roll so it's handy and I can get to it offline if I'm not at my Wi-Fi connection. But I have a Wi-Fi connection now so that's no problem. Collections, I'm going to select leather. And you can see my, my thumbnails on the left, they are populating. So I kind of get a little bit of a preview. I think I'll choose the pink leather. And now I can zoom in here. You can see how that looks. So now I'm going to tap and hold and then tap my background and copy. Go over to my planner in GoodNotes. Press and hold, paste. And you see how pretty that looks close up? And I want to make these the same size. Now let me go ahead and put that flower in this one. I'm going to go back to my eye design. I'm going to come over to the Whimsy Kit. And the Whimsy Kit comes with several background pages. And it also comes with all these flowers. And these flowers are made up of more than one part. So you can fill the centers and the outside of the flowers separately. And this is the one that I want. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm not going to worry about bringing this center over. Go back to my workspace. And the yellow actually looks good with this pink, so I don't need to fill it. But if I wanted to, I'd just tap the paintbrush, replace. And I could go to my camera roll. And I could come in here to my Whimsy collection. And I could fill it. Let's just fill it with the green so you can see how that looks. That's a little big. I'm going to make it a little smaller and line it up in the center. So now to copy it over, I have to make sure that I have all three of these selected. So now what I'll do is I'll just tap on a blank area of my workspace and say select all, copy, double tap my home button, press and hold on my planner in GoodNotes, and paste. Size this down.
and then I'll put it over another another monthly banner. So hopefully this helps you think outside the box. These are some of the choices that I've made for my goals. I've got health, family, friends, work. Let me make my ink a little bit thicker. I have actually preset my ink to its thickness. You can actually customize that and you can also customize your colors of ink. But that's for another video. I'm going to actually choose this third one. And I'm going to center my ink a little bit, but I don't want to also move the image. So I'm going to tap on the lasso and I'm going to turn off images. That way when I select, I'm only selecting the ink and that way I can center it. So there you have it. You can customize your goal pages with topics rather than using the months. And you can also customize the headers in iDesign. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see the creative headers that you guys come up with and I will see you in the next video. Bye!